In this video, I'll show you how you can add a CPA Grip content locker to your WordPress website so you can lock the whole website. So first you need to go ahead and create your content locker inside of CPA Grip. So go ahead and log in and then go to the dashboard. And then once you're here, you wanna to go to monetization tools, then go to content lockers. Now here you can create a new content locker, agree to the terms of service, and I'll just give it a new name. We'll just call it YT Video. Now this video is not going to tell you so much on how you can customize your content locker. Let me just change the country to United States. This video is more going to be how you can take that content locker and put it onto your WordPress website. So you've got the general settings, which obviously you can change. You've got your header text and um, how many offers you want to show the access time and so on. You can also go ahead and change individual things for, for the desktop and mobile. And if you go to templates, you can choose a template. So I guess we'll just run with this template here. And it's going to show these different surveys depending on where the traffic's coming from. So once you're happy with your content lock and you've got everything customized, if you click save, you'll then be able to grab the code. So we're doing this YouTube video content locker. So click get code. Then you want to enable no JavaScript protection and ad block protection. And now you can go ahead and copy this code here. So now go back to your WordPress website. And once you're in your WordPress website, go to your WordPress dashboard. Then here you want to scroll down and you want to go to appearance. And here you should see theme file editor, editor or theme editor. Click on that. You now need to scroll down and you need to find header.php on the right here. So click on header.php. Now you should see, uh, you should see head. So here where it says head and then end head. Uh, you want to go to where it first says head, click enter a couple of, couple of times so you can create some new lines. Then you can paste in your code just under head. Then scroll down, update file. Now you've got that file updated successfully. Now if we go back to our site, we should now see the content locker. So it shows a preview of the site, but nobody can do anything until they've filled out some of these offers here. That's how you do it. I hope that video did help you out.